Hey everyone, welcome back to another Draw With Me video. Um, oh, my desk just moved. Um, what is the date? I don't know. 29th of the 4th. 23! I keep, I keep thinking it's 24, but it's not. Larry Bunko! Larry Bunko is our Lord and Saviour. Jibber jabber jab. How are we anyway? How is everyone? Getting some nice little feedback on these videos, nice little compliments, and I do appreciate it. It's very, very nice. I did notice the last one of these videos, the, the uh, audio was a bit messed up, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've changed the my little mic a little bit. Hopefully, it's better this time. But it's because I'm not talking like directly into the mic because it's actually slightly above. But whatever. Um, I'll try and just speak a little bit louder. But let's just get straight into some doodles. Uh. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that today I picked up a little whiteboard from my local Tesco. It was only about four pounds. So I thought, you know what? Yeah, I'll, gra I'll grab that. I actually grabbed it for um, like having to-do lists, like, I don't know, shopping or whatever cleaning we need to do that day, just stuff around the house. But then um, I thought, oh, it looks quite doodleable. So uh, me and my son were doing some little doodles on it, and I've uploaded a few of them on Instagram. If you want to check them out, feel free. But yeah, um, you know what, actually? I'm going to get some of my little Instagram doodles up. Not on that. Um, some of the little doodles that I've been doing up on my phone. Just as a little bit of reference. Can you pause a short? I don't know if you can, can you? You can, but if I hold it, that's annoying. Ah, uh, whatever. I just won't do that then. I like drawing these weird little like jaw creatures. Hopefully, everybody has been a okay and you're enjoying the doodles. If you haven't already picked up your pen, then please do and doodle along with me. That would be lovely. Hopefully I can inspire you and you can leave me a little comment or whatever and you can inspire me to carry on doing these doodles because I really enjoy them. I've decided that I hate art. No, I don't really. Because um, I was trying to like drastically improve by challenging myself in drawing different things and although that is good Sometimes I'm not enjoying it. Oh, I didn't realize my paper was so off camera. Yeah, sometimes I'm not enjoying it. So instead, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a lot of these little doodle videos and make sure that I'm just enjoying the process. I'm just voicing what's going on in my brain, in my little tiny weasel brain. And that's enough. Because like I've said before, to some people these artworks will be amazing and to other people they wouldn't be that great. But as long as I'm enjoying myself doing them, that's the main thing, eh? But I am going to get a little bit of reference out. Just because I can. Um, you know what, I'm going to just use my own sketchbook. There we go, first page comes up. I like this weird gargoyle looking dragon thing. Let's do it. So I always like to draw the eye first. I'm not like super fussed how it turns out. My friend Mark came round the past couple of days and he's been playing the new Jedi Survivor. It's pretty good. I am a little bit tempted to buy it, but I'm going to hold out for um, <clears throat> New Zelda because games are expensive these days. Also, I... Uh, I've been chatting to one of my old friends from school. Like we weren't super close at school, but we knew each other. Both on the rugby team. He was probably way better at rugby than I was, but he played outside of school as well. So, but he's going through some dramas, so I was just being a mate, just giving him some of my own life experiences and advices and stuff. Going through some tough times with his uh. His son's mum and whatever I've been through those times, unfortunately, but it's part of life, eh? Stuff you gotta do. Uh, 
And Eleanor's away at the minute. She's gone away for her. Um, well, some of her family going camping and stuff. There was like a surprise engagement and stuff, but I'm at home with the boys. It's been all right. It's actually kind of challenging a little bit because there's such an age gap with them. It's um, hard to entertain them both at the same time. And unfortunately, the little one kind of gets favoured in a way because he's younger and he can't entertain himself. But then again, sometimes he just does his own thing and doesn't want to know. But he's going through a mad phase of like hitting. So if he doesn't get what he wants or if you don't kind of understand what he wants, he just hits you. Which is, although it's kind of cute, it's not good. So I'm going to have to get that habit out of him pretty pretty swiftly. I'm going to end up hitting a lot. And hitting is naughty. You shouldn't hit unless it's in sport. Which reminds me, actually, I'm going to start my older son, Louis. Um, hopefully, I can find like a local boxing gym, boxing club, whatever, and get him into doing something like that because... I think he's got like a little bit of anxiety issues. He's been through a few things, unfortunately, for his life and experienced a little bit of stuff. I'm not going to get into like mega detail out of respect, but like more on his mum's side. She's uh, she seems to attract a bit of drama, unfortunately. But yeah, so he's seen a few things and he's, he's developed a little bit of an anxious side. So because we went to London and it's supposed to be a fun day out and he just seemed like terrified. So terrified of getting like lost or or maybe I don't know taken or something like that. I just because before we went we said look it's really busy you got to stay with us blah 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 all that sort of stuff the typical things that you say to a kid. But I think he just took it as like something bad's going to happen to me, and then he just seemed nervous the whole day. M not the whole day, but a lot of the day. And it's a shame because then he just couldn't like enjoy it as much as he should have. So yeah, hopefully uh, I'll try and get him some sort of help. I tried before, but like the school nurse, whatever, went to see him. It, w it might have not been the school nurse, it might have been someone else. And they just kind of, I felt like they just kind of said, nah, he's fine. And I, I, stupidly, I just was like, oh, okay, no worries then, thanks anyway, bye. Where I, I probably should have pushed for it a little bit more. So maybe I'll, I'll try again. little gargoyle character quite like him kind of reminds me of something from fable 2 that was one of my first ever xbox 360 games i like it um i've been drawing these little skulls as well just keeping it super simple it's a little scully willy a scully willy this, I don't know why, maybe it won't, maybe it's not this one actually, maybe it's either this one or the next one. This one, no, pretty sure it's this one. This artwork on Instagram, it absolutely like done really, really well. I'm not going to say it went viral, but it, it did do very well. And it's just a normal one of my pages, nothing crazy. I quite like... Uh, I was going to say the Simpsons artwork, but more specifically, disenchantment artwork. I don't know, there's just something about it and it just kind of speaks to me. I think I make better art when I don't overthink it. Don't try and do like the perfect line or anything like that. Just get, get lines on the page. What you guys drawing? Comment if you do draw draw along with me, and comment down below what you drew whilst you were watching me or listening to me, whatever. Maybe you were watching The Hills Have Eyes, and it reminded you of your mother, so you drew a picture of her, or maybe not. Maybe you're watching Teletubbies. If you're from the UK, you probably know what Teletubbies is, but I'm pretty sure the US don't have Teletubbies. And to be honest, you have not missed out. Teletubbies was weird. It's 
Treasure. Let's do it. Um, whatever. Cool. It's a little bit different, a little bit fluffy. Right, um, what else can we talk about? What have we been up to? Took the boys to the local park today. But again, like I was saying, it's it's hard to it's hard to entertain them both. Louis, sometimes he's really good at entertaining himself. I want to do a little podcast for him actually. Um, sometimes he's really good at entertaining himself, and sometimes he just he can't do it, and he's just like clung to me. So I feel a little bit sorry for him at times, but at the same time, sometimes a little bit frustrating him. I should probably like just take a second before I react. Sometimes I'm probably a little bit too harsh on him. But, uh, it's all apart parent. And I was saying to my friend Mark today, the older I'm getting, the more I'm realizing that there's no kind of right way of doing things. There's no right way of parenting. There's no right way of, um, like, I don't know, working out. There's no right way of just doing anything. There's no right way of just managing a relationship. You just do what works, you do what works for you and the other person, whatever, just, I don't know. It's just, life is a, a, an eternal journey until you're dead, <clears throat> which is quite bleak, but how oh, it is really, isn't it? I think you gotta find tiny little pleasures in life because if you don't, then what's the point, eh? I, felt, I sound kind of depressed today, don't I? But I'm not. I actually had an alright day. A little bit tiring, a little bit stressful with the kids and stuff. Usually I've got Eleanor by my side. But she's away on a little holiday and she deserves it to be honest because she does so much for us. Little sexy eyebrow. Let's go let's have a look at another page. All my squirtles, squirtles, war turtles. Let's, let's get one of them in there. Hopefully, you guys enjoy these doodles. And hopefully, the audio is a little bit better last uh, than last time. I've got the. If you want to know, I've got the. Um, ye, what is it called? Blue Yeti Nano. I think I got it on like a sale, or it might have just been cheaper than the normal ya, uh, Nano. I was going to call it Yano there. Um, but there's two little controls there's one so it's just direct forward which is good for streaming or if you know you're not going to be like so I'm leaning down so what I'm thinking is I put it on like the surround sound kind of mode and it's a little bit better uh, little crocky crocky dial what else can I tell you? I don't know. If you're thinking about getting um, Jedi Survivor, it's pretty, it looks pretty good. I was going to get the... the remaster pixel versions of uh, Final Fantasy VI. Well, one... What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, pixel remasters. But then... I didn't know it was only a digital thing for now. And it was, um, it was like 60 pound. So I might only get Final Fantasy VI, uh, the pixel remaster. Um, and I might just get it on PC. So I might do like a whole playthrough of it on, on the YouTube channel. But for now, I'm not gonna. Just get Zelda, play that. Play a little bit of Terraria for the guys who are enjoying that. Cause I, I like Terraria. And to, but to be honest, I don't think I'll finish Terraria. I just think it gets to a certain point and it's crazy hard. Or maybe I will. Maybe I'm just being a bit of a puss. I don't know. I'm not as like hyped up today. I think it might be because I'm a bit tired. Having a few days off the gym because I'm on the way too. I did get up a little bit earlier today and do a little bit of yoga and wow, yoga is hard, especially if you're not flexible enough. 
when you watch the people on the TV doing it, it makes me, it, it looks easy, but when you're actually doing it, it just makes you feel like a big rock. Like, why doesn't my body move like they do? But it's just because they do it all the time and they're super flexible and whatever. But it's weird. I like doing a little squiggle for the chin there. Who's some other artists on Inst uh, not Instagram, sorry, YouTube that you'd recommend? I, I watch a few, but to be honest, like the big ones, like that ZHC, even 1000, I like his style, but they just end up doing videos where it's more about these mad challenges, what they do. And I'm just not really interested in any, in any of that. I like just looking at the art and appreciating the art, what they're drawing, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking forward to Ellen coming back. Are you guys? If people comment that they would like to see or hear from Eleanor, then maybe she would make an appearance. She's in my other videos, but I, I wanted to do like a weekly podcast with her. But we did maybe like one or two, and then she just didn't seem interested anymore. Because I wanted to make it like super regular. But yeah, she just, she, I just didn't think she fancied it. She didn't want it to be like for like a purpose, like YouTube. But I just thought it was a good way of communicating and talking about stuff. And it, was, it would also hold us accountable to what we were talking about because I would be putting it on YouTube. But I think she kind of didn't like that. Maybe she just couldn't be bothered, but maybe it was just like the pressure as well. I don't know. But yeah, it's not fair. I would like to do it again, but I'm going to do it with Louis. I'm going to do some podcasts with my friend Mark where we just talk about whatever. But Mark, if you're watching, I haven't felt it necessary, but I would like to say it now that you cut people off a lot. So don't. All right, boy, Stop cutting me off. But yeah, other than that, I think we'd have a lot to talk about. He's had a few uh, recent life-changing events, but we'll save it for another day if we do do the podcast. So it could be really good. The things that he's been through as well, him talking about it might actually help some people. And him maybe starting his own YouTube channel, I think would be cool. But then I think he's the sort of guy, if he'll tell his story once or twice and then what else has he got to do? That's why I like doing a lot of different videos, like some gaming, some uh, some drawing, maybe just a bit of talking, which I haven't done yet, which I do need to do. What else we got in this little book? This like crazy junky looking Pikachu. I oh, can't, can't quite see this guy like down there. Some junky stuff. Oh, someone actually said do a, a whole page of these like magical bottles. So I, I forgot, but I'll do one now. Um, do the, the lid. I'll do a, a bit of a bigger one. I feel like I draw better when I'm not being super precious with it. Be a little bit rusty. Rusty. Do you think if uh, if you streamed on Twitch, like I have streamed on Twitch in the past, and I don't really care because I just, when I stream on Twitch, it's almost as if, I feel like those people who are watching me or talking to me, they're not even real. And I think that's why I don't really care. And then I was talking to one of my, that old school friend today. And he said that he watched me from time to time, but just lurking in the back. And I, I thought, oh, that's cool that he watched me. But now I feel like maybe there are some people out there who I know. And it kind of puts a little bit of a different pressure on you. Which is kind of unnecessarily, I don't know, I suppose I'm just overthinking it. Another little bottle there. Should we do another one? It's maybe like a long one. I like doing like an eye like this. A 
and the lid. What other games are you guys looking forward to? I really know. I, like, I'm not really one for like the big high end triple games anymore. I used to be when I was younger. Get loads of games, or I'd like trade ten games in to get one game and things like that. But I don't know anymore. I just I can't bring myself to just buy game after game after game. I like just getting a little post-it note and just doing a little doodle on it and just writing P two seven F for no reason at all. P two seven F. That maybe in my brain, subliminally, deep down, that means something. But I wrote that and it doesn't actually mean anything to me. You might think it does. Maybe if you knew me, you knew every, you know what, P2, that was the army kind of uh, platoon that I was in, in training. Seven, I don't know, and F, I don't know. Seven, I just like the number. It's not my favorite number. But F, who knows, eh? I don't actually really like the letter F. I'm overthinking that big time, aren't I? Um, what else have we got? Let's get something up here. Should we just, let's do, I don't know. Let's just do the hand. I can't do these videos for too long because Ellen is away and my little man cave studio is in a in the garage. So I have to keep an eye on things. Do you know what, actually? I'll show you how I keep an eye on things. Louis in his room and I told him, I'm down here, but I have a little ring doorbell and you, I can check on my son. There he is. He's asleep with his legs up against the wall. Mad kid, eh? Mad kid. Kids are a gift. A challenge, but a gift. Let's draw one of these weird guys. Definitely a challenge definitely a gift I look forward to I, I would say one of my most favorite and rewarding days of having my older son which I'm looking forward to with my younger son is the day he started school because I was I was quite like kind of like time like oh you'll be good you'll uh you'll smash it just be good do as you told blah 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 trying to encourage him and stuff and then when it, I thought he'd like be like oh I don't want to go in there but when it was Time to go in, he just ran away. And then I like teared up a little bit. And I was like, oh my God, my, my little boy's become a man. No, he hasn't become a man, but it was cute. Super cute. Let's get a little couple of teeth on there. Let's do another one. That, that guy looks a little bit more snake-like. What's a, what's a day that you guys have kind of cherished? Maybe recently or ever, really? Uh, what else can we squeeze on here? I keep meaning to put like a some masking tape down so I always know where to keep my piece of paper, but whatever. Who cares, eh? This is off the cuff. Let's draw a little crown. Me and my son finished watching Star Wars Episode 1, 2, 3. I've seen them before, but he hasn't. It took me a long time to convince him to watch them. And uh, he liked them. He thought it was very sad. Spoilers alert, if you want to mute it. Um, he thought it was very sad when Anakin's mum died. And uh, he... He was just like amazed. Kids always ask just like a billion questions when they're watching a film instead of watching it. But he was, he thought it was cool how Anakin became Darth Vader and all that sort of stuff. Sorry if I've spoiled that for anyone, but it has been out for years and years. So I'm not really sorry. Um, but yeah, it's all fun stuff. Look at this Sonic the Hedgehog. I like that. So let's try and squeeze him in somewhere. So we've got like a little, let's, let's get him down there. And then we started watching Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
my friend Mark, he loves Star Wars, so he was like, oh yeah, you have to watch that, blah, blah, blah. It's not actually in the correct order, but I probably won't watch everything. I, I, I watch a lot of it, but like the long series, I probably won't watch. I just, I can't be like into series anymore. I can't dedicate that sort of time. I can't be bothered. My son's going to the beach with his mum tomorrow, so I'll just have my younger son. So I'll try and get him out of the house. I'll probably just take him to like a local park for a little bit. Turn that into that. Does Sonic not have eyebrows? I feel like he might. He does now. There we go. Oh, he has an ear. Damn. Oh, he doesn't anymore. Well, that is an ear, though, isn't it? Well, let's just put an ear in. Cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Um, look at this Sonic. Oh, I, I didn't put nostrils on that one. Oh, well. I think I'm going to be done there. How long has this been going? 26 minutes. Well, hopefully you guys drew a little couple of things with me. Drew a couple of different eyes whilst we can. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying these draw with me videos. I enjoy doing them. Keeps me going with the drawing. I, I usually just draw like a page like this on my lunch break at work, but. This keeps me drawing more and more and more. And that's pretty much it, boys and girls. Let's let's do another little draw thing. I always say that's it and then carry on for ages, don't I? I don't want it to be over. I don't want you to leave me. Who's ever cried over a girl? Or a boy? I have. The first girl I ever cried over. I won't name her. But it was when I was, I think, 15. She broke up with me, told me she didn't want to be with me anymore, blah, blah, blah. And I cried. Hey, eh? part of growing up. It's okay to cry. Because at the time, it was a sad thing. Looking back on it, it wasn't that bad. It was probably a blessing in disguise. In disguise, Because, uh, well, you know, things don't work. Let's not slag anyone off Lawrence. And if you're wondering who Lawrence is, it's me. My real name is Lawrence. The snowman. Would you rather be a snowman or a goat? Comment down below. All right, I'm chatting absolute shit now. So thanks for watching, people. I appreciate it. Good night. I love you. Don't do a crack. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Like, subscribe. Bing bong.